The Wascom Dairy Queen generating some business and a lot of conversation thanks to a sign out front. It's a story you'll see only on CBS 58. The store owner says the sign is a warning for anyone who may be easily offended. He spoke with CBS 58's Julie Parisi, who joins us live with the details. Julie, so well, what is this all about? Well, Mike and Bill, that sign is inside the first set of double doors here at this Dairy Queen. It's been there for almost four years, and people in town here, they know it well. It was recently when an out-of-town customer noticed it and put it on social media that it sparked national attention. Business is good at this Kiwaskum Dairy Queen, thanks in part to a sign that's hanging on the front door. I felt the sign was appropriate to hang in terms of uh, just being transparent about the types of expression that the owner and or the staff may do in terms of uh, supporting God and country. It says, in God we trust, tells potential customers that employees may say things like Merry Christmas and offers free Sundays to veterans on Veterans Day. It just seems that those kind of values and principles for some reason are becoming controversial in our society. Store owner Kevin Scheinemann says the sign hasn't caused any problems before, but recently someone visiting from Oregon posted it on Dairy Queen's national Facebook page to complain. Since then, there's been some negative comments, but also a lot of praise. In fact, this man drove all the way from the Cincinnati area just to visit and take a picture with Shineman. Yeah, we're a small town, and I've always said Merry Christmas. April Sareway owns a business in town. She says as a fellow business owner, Shineman has a right to post whatever he wants. If you don't agree with it or like it, you don't have to walk through the door. People in this small town tell us most residents share the same values. Here we're just all liking each other and having fun. necessarily represent the views of the corporation, rather of the individual owner. And the owner here says he's willing to accommodate anyone who may be offended by his views. They just have to let him know when they plan to visit, and he'll make accommodations. Live in Kiwaskum, I'm Julie Parisi, CBS 58 News.